guys, welcome back to another episode of G-Made CNC. Um, I had to do some uh, light maintenance on this uh, gang tool setup. And um, what had happened was I was uh, boring a part out with this long boring bar. And um, it was a bit of an aggressive cut. And uh, I had noticed some vibration coming out of this lower uh, block. So, uh, I decided to take it apart and check it, um, and what I found, I was able to get a half a turn out of each screw, um, and then I went around and checked this lower plate, and even the turret, and, uh, what I found is I was getting anywhere from, uh, an eighth inch to a little more than, uh, three sixteenths of a turn, um, on a lot of the screws, so I don't know if that had to do with me setting this thing up in the winter time and expanding contracting or maybe the threads just stretched you know over some time um, just a little advice you know you guys that have these machines for a little while um, just you know it's not gonna hurt to do it once over on all the bolts but um, yeah so I had to take it all apart I got this all trued up and uh, shimmed all right so I figured I'd do a, a quick video on how I center my drills and uh, how I uh, center the uh, bar puller um, that we'll go back into here so uh, with that we'll get it started what I use is have a plug or a slug whatever you want to call it um, that I made it's three three quarter inch here uh, with a flange then I drill the 3 16 hole in the center. Alright, and then what that will do is you can drop it in here, any one of these holes. Okay. These just got to be unthreaded. Or even the turret, you can do the same. Alright, and in the collet, we're going to be running one of these uh, edge finders, you know, the wobbler edge finders. that in there start with the first one just get it snugged up a little WD it's not going to hurt Okay. I kind of just jog it in to a safe point. Maybe this would be a better. There you go. So there's just a little bit of play. Now I uh, put a clamp on the uh, the door switch so we can run this while it's open just for video purposes. So I'll run the RPMs like 300 RPMs. Okay. And I'll jog in Z.
just until uh, you see it stop. It just did, but I backed it off. There you go, right there. A little bit of oil on here. We'll turn that off. I'll jog down next. I'll generally just run my finger over the edge to see if I can catch my fingernail. So now what we'll do, is, that there is tool number nine for me, okay. Right there we'll go X zero. And touch off. Um, and that's all we're gonna set for right now. Uh, what we'll do is after we get um, all three of them on the uh, gang tool block set up, then we'll go back in and we'll do Z. We'll touch that off with a piece of uh, aluminum, a piece of stock that we'll put in. So, you just repeat that same process for all three. All right. Uh, same thing goes for the turret. You just take the slug, stick in the turret, move it down um, until it's centered. And all you're going to do is zero out all the X's. For, uh, for me, this is tool number eight. Uh, then I got nine, ten, eleven. Um, and then I... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Um, so I use the same three for different drill bits uh, for different tools. So um, if it calls for tool 12, you know, in the program that I wrote, um, I would just take whatever drill bit this is out, stick a new one in, uh, or a boring bar or whatever it is, and uh, lock it in there, and I just reset the new uh, Z um, if it was something like a boring bar where it would slide. Um, but if it's a holder like this, um, I still generally will come down and just zero it out, you know, when I, uh, before I start any of it, just to make sure. Um, but, so what we'll do now is, uh, I'll get this bolted in and get this set up and then, uh, I'll show you how I find dead center to this. So let me get this all tightened up with the airlines and stuff and then we'll get back to this. Alright, <clears throat> this is in nice and tight. Uh, got the airline hooked back up to it. So now what we're going to do is... Uh, the bar puller for me is tool 26. Okay. 
And now what we'll do is uh, back this off. Just manually. Let's get in the ballpark of center. It's fine. All right, and the other thing you have to do is uh, just take off the um, the arm for the collar closer. So the collar closer stays closed. Um, so when you uh, send air to this, you don't want the collar closer opening because we have to spin the uh, spindle. So. Show you right here. Yeah, I just took the arm off so the piston was able to go in. It's easier to see. Uh, happy with that there. So the same thing we did with uh, tool nine here, and the same thing we uh, you'll do with these two and the turret or how many drill bits you guys have. Um, our X we're gonna zero it out right here. Okay, so that's set. Now we can open up. Boom. Um, the arm can go back on. Let's get this on real quick. Okay. Arm's back on. Three quarter inch stock that we could fit in there. If not, I'll have to switch it over. Zoom me out. Alright, here's a, another blank plug which we'll use. So, 